There is so much happening in real estate in Jamaica like never before, and we know you have so many questions to be answered. Today I'm with Dennis Hickey, who has a track record of making real estate dreams come true. Hi Dennis. Hi Angela. How are you doing today? I'm fine. So I'm a first time or prospective real estate buyer. Where does the conversation start with you? The conversation normally starts with determining what it is that you are in the market for. Whether you're in the market for a commercial property, for a residential property, and, and for residential, whether you intend to live mm -hmm. in that property or you intend to treat that as an investment and earn revenues, rental revenues from it. Of course, having determined that, we're going to have to look at your ability to afford what it is that you want. Okay, and, and how do we get to understanding what I could afford? I know there is something called pre-qualification. How does that happen? Yes, it comes down to your what you earn, mm -hmm. what you have saved. Um, some people, maybe not as many, are in the market for buying properties cash. Um, we'd have to determine and see evidence of that um, capacity. But by and large, the mortgage institutions will help an individual to determine from what they earn what it is that they could possibly get to borrow from taking into consideration all the other costs, the, mm -hmm. the cost of survey as ID reports, the cost of um, legal fees, valuation when required, most of the time that's required. And so the institution, and, and, and if you're an NHD contributor, for example, yes. the mortgage institution will take all of that into consideration and prepare for you a letter that says we will or we are in a position to lend you X amount. With that figure in mind, then the real estate agent can begin to help you with the search. To find a home. Yes. And what do I look for when I'm purchasing a home? So I know I want to have my own piece of this rock. I know I qualify for this amount. Then what's the next step on that journey? People's needs are varied. Eh? People, some people want to live in apartments. Some don't want to live in apartments in the gated complex. Some people in some gated complex would like to live in a townhouse. Some people simply want a standalone home. And so we're, we're going to have to, to, to determine what the specific needs are. Some people, in, if you get into gated complexes, some people want certain amenities, um, the swimming pool, the, the play area for the children, yes. the, the tennis court, the gym, and all of those things. So it becomes a package of amenities that the, the real estate associate, the real estate advisor, would be helping you to match what you need yes. to what is out there. In the so market, finding the best of both worlds, what I can afford, as well as what will meet my needs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Excellent. But there are so many developments happening in Jamaica. How do I know what is overvalued, what's underpriced, what meets my need right there in the middle? What are some of the things that I look out for? It relates to, to whether a property is overvalued and undervalued. The, the, the Realtors Association in Jamaica, um, with access to the multi-listing service, the MLS for short, we can do a series of comparables. So we take properties within a certain area, we look at age, we look at what has been sold, what is being sold, and we can help at the very first instance to determine um, value versus what you're looking for. Of course, in the, at the very end, um, it is encouraged to get your own valuation to determine if the offer you're making on a property 